Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Friday, June 28th, 2 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. You're looking at Uluwan, followed by Ray Coke. Smoke a boke. There's Ray Coke days ago. Uluwan to 63,000 feet. Ray Coke blasting to the stratosphere. Uluwan, we see here. Oh my goodness. It's boom time. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Thunderstorm bring large brings large hail into southeastern Montana. That looks like large bunches of hail. Billings, Montana thunderstorms that move through southeastern Montana drop baseball size hail in western Powder River County and golf ball size hail by the golf course. The storm has moved to the east. The National Weather Service reports Wednesday night storm left behind broken windows, damaged crops, and pricks with their hands filled with ice. That's looking nice. Here are the latest rain, wind, and hail measurements from Thursday's storm in central Montana. Look at the clouds. Look at the pictures. Look at the view. Let's open the image in a new tab and do a dab. Holy moly. Gorgeous. I wish it was there. Dramatic thunderstorm sweeping across central Montana with strong winds, hail, rain, and even a tornado was insane -o. It was even tiny. Look at that. What is that? That's like a movie. Is that Twister? I think I saw that with my sister. I don't even have a sister. Pretty strong storm cell remain over the Rocky Mountains between Poisson and Chotok. As of 7.45 p.m., Great Falls received 0.6 inches of shinches. Severe gusts of 58 miles per hour. Floodwaters ex excess 3 to 4 inches. 42 mile per hour. Blippity tornado. 12 miles west of Judith Gap. Talk about the hail. 2.5 inches spotted 16 miles northwest of Chinook in Blaine. It's the same picture over and over. I feel I'm getting dizzy. Sun, snow, and slopes. We're no dopes. Snowbird to have the 4th of July. Instead of the fireworks, it's going to be skiing works with fireworks. Ski Works and Fireworks, Salt Lake City, Utah. Snowbird announced the resort will remain open and let skiers hit the slopes on the 4th of July. It's the first time since 2011, which, by the way, was the last solar minimum. The resort has been able to allow Independence Day snow activities, which is no surprise to the Oppenheimer Ranch Project <laughs> or most of you listening. Campgrounds near Durango closed in summer due to snow and flooding. Those of you watching the channel as well will know that this was all predicted. Online petition, the next significant solar minimum should be called the Eddy Minimum. Jack Eddy was a solar scientist who discovered the sunspot period known as the Maunder Minimum in the 1970s and despite intense academic pressure of the consensus then argued that the that this demonstrated that our sun was not constant but indeed a variable star controlling the weather are you wearing pleather cold weather poses challenges to kenyan farmers and every other farmer on the earth now that's coming out today kenyan farmers have to contend with the high cost of production as biting cold weather hits several parts of blippity bloppity blue are you new? We predicted cooling everywhere as well as record heat. It is the fluctuations and the meridional flow that kill crops, make it inconsistent. And here we see a variety of weather across the country at weather.gov. A little bit of snow up there in Alberta. You better put on a shirt. Uh, and this is over the next few days. Check it out, Brett Stump. Boom! Wednesday, July 3rd and 4th. The snow will be in place for the 4th of July. I can't even lie. And here you see an excellent example of a blood echo in Fiji at 525 kilometers. 
on June 27th, 1414 UTC, followed by June 27th, 2058 UTC, 5.2. An increase of five magnitudes. Largest quake in the region, 6.3 La Esperance Rock, New Zealand, just waiting for a major quake to take out the entire North Island. 2.6 in Oklahoma. Yeah, you can f frack it, bitches. Run Coke, blowing to 43,000 feet. Oolong, 63,000 feet. 5,000 people in Papua New Guinea evacuated due to eruption of Uluan. Volcano, Moscow, Sputnik. Thousands were evacuated due to the eruption of the Uluwun volcano in the southwestern part of the island of New Britain in Papua New Guinea. Media reported Thursday, the country's government estimates 5,000 people have left the villages near the volcano, which began spewing ash on Wednesday morning, the Radio New Zealander broadcaster reported. The eruption, which has seen volcanic ash hurled some 10 miles up, already became the strongest of a kind on Bismarck Archipelago in the past century. Back to the centennial minimum, and we're going back further, folks. However, the nearby volcano observatory in the city of Rabu said the seismic activity had returned to normal and Uluwun had calmed down early Thursday. Papua New Guinea is part of the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire. Now, Uluwun may have calmed down, but it's boom time, kids. Worldwide Volcano News Update, Ebiko eruption. We also have Sange and Manam. Sange, volcanic ash, is still in effect. Manam blowing to 40,000 feet. Guys, that's eight miles. Actually, seven. We also have Kluchaskov and others. Are you picking up the amount of material being shoved up into the upper atmosphere, even the stratosphere as we speak? We're just waiting for VEI-5 to puff off from Iceland to kick off the rest of your lives. EMP Commission warns blackout of electricity, food, water to last year or longer. Huge death toll. We told you. Now they're telling you. Examine it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. A new generation of climate models to be used in the next IPCCC IPCC assessment are even more unrealistic and faulty than older models. Just like Zarkova. She's using TSI alone. Do you know how many variables you need to include in a successful model to predict the future? It's more than a dozen. It's more than 50. We barely have a grasp on a single variable. Junk science much? Here's a perfect example. <clears throat> Just like the IPCC is nothing but mathematical modeling, fear-mongering to set policy, so is Zarkova's new paper, Oscillations of the Baseline of Top, blah, 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 where we use one variable to say nothing, and we increase TSI moving forward through 2,600. Our funding will, include, will be continued through 2,600, based on our newest paper because of the graph we used which allowed the funding to increase through 2600 it was awesome NASA headed towards giant golden asteroid that could make everyone Earth on Earth a billionaire the only problem is they're not going to share it <laughs> so what the are they talking about paying your own blow up NASA huge burst of mysterious cosmic radio waves and what the close this Trace back to exact location billions of light years away. Have you ever heard an oxymoron? Trace back to the exact location in a galaxy billions of light years away. I wonder if it was on 8th Street or 27th. Definitely aliens. NASA will fly a drone to Titan to search for life. You need to get one. Are you moving to the lodge? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Infinite abundance is coming. 
Are you listening? Have you subscribed? Have you shared this on your social media platform? If you haven't, we will not grow. They will stop us. But you can continue the information. Do it now. Do it now.